the historic Atlanta March for Social Justice and Women. As you mobilized and marched in the streets here in Atlanta, I too, along with my sisters, mothers of the movement, marched on Washington with thousands of women and families with collective voices against racism, discrimination, misogyny, poverty, unlawful policing, gun violence, religious intolerance, and all the injustices that have been the dark stain upon this great nation. I am the mother of Jordan Davis, who was 17 years old, and he was a black male that was murdered at a Florida gas station in November 2012, simply for playing loud music in his car with his friends. But let me be real. My son was gunned down because of the implicit bias that his shooter had about young black males. Jordan's murder empowered by his gun and this nation's protection under dangerous gun laws carried out his hate through gun violence. Those three bullets that tore through my child's body also tore through my heart. Not a day goes by that I don't remember Jordan's infectious laugh and his wonderful sense of humor and his wide toothy grin. While my family will never be the same, and I most assuredly am not the same, I have come to understand that you don't stop being a parent when your child dies. I am still Jordan Davis's mother. wake up every day thinking how to parent him, how to protect his legacy, how to ensure his death does not overshadow his life, and how to serve and protect the many sons and daughters that God has now given me. Yet my faith and commitment to social justice and civil rights in America compels me each and every day to act. Yes, I long for my son every day, but Jordan's death has given me a new sense of purpose for my life, advocating for gun safety and advocating for you. As the national spokesperson and faith and outreach leader for Moms Demand Action for Gun Sense in America and Every Town for Gun Safety, I am determined to stand against the gun lobby's dangerous agenda that puts American families particularly families of color, at risk. And as a mother of the movement, what I have discovered is that collectively we can use our voices. Our voices may not be louder than gunshots, but they can be just as powerful. God has revealed to me that out of tragedy, true wisdom comes, and that people just need to know the power that they have. So, on the one year anniversary of the nationwide Women's March, we must rededicate ourselves with a renewed sense of passion and engagement. As the late African American civil rights leader and American politician Barbara Jordan once said, a nation is formed by the willingness of each of us to share in the responsibility for holding up the common good. Therefore, I urge each of you here today to stand up and become a part of the solution to protect and preserve our democracy and our way of life. After the 2016 presidential election, and the devastating loss by the Democratic Party. I found myself gazing in the mirror and saying, look what's happening in my own backyard. Look what's happening to my home state of Georgia. So I am happy to say that I am actively campaigning as a candidate for Georgia House of Representatives. charge on to repeal it. And it's about making 
sure that women's voices and issues are part of the legislative narrative at our state capitol. Our voices are needed there to protect women's right to good health care, access to equal pay for equal work, and funding quality education where every child not only succeeds but excels. These have been the issues that I have been passionate about, passionate about. And ladies, let me just say this. I've been resistant for a long time. It's in my DNA. So join me in my journey to the State House. Go to my website, Lucy McVass for HD37.com and sign up to learn more about the ways that you can support my efforts to win a seat in our state legislature. wins for 2018. But the only way to ensure that our democracy works for we the people is you must take part in the political process. That's right. That's your right. power is at the polls and it is imperative you exercise your right to vote. Yeah. Yeah. What's at stake in this year's May primaries and the November midterm elections. My father, a civil rights leader and healthcare professional, always said that if you do not defend or define for yourself what is important to you, others will define it for you. That's right. Do not throw your power away. How to transform our barriers into bridges and our obstacles into opportunities. Engage in creating the kind of state legislature and electorate that represents your needs your concerns and your interests. Our futures are on the line. So join me in the fight. I have volunteers that are circulating in the crowds with clipboards where you can sign up. I need your help to win. I hope too that you love Lucy for Georgia. And in Georgia it was Georgia's very own Coretta Scott King who once said, Struggle is a never-ending process. Freedom is never really won. You earn it and win it every generation. Georgia, let's work together to win the struggle this November, to maintain the rights and freedoms that we are all given. Thank you, Atlanta. I thank you, Georgia, and God bless you. Now let's get to work.